I'm currently in an online turned very passionate relationship with someone who appears to be the rapper Bow Wow. Come on. Subject, together we have over 44,000 Instagram followers, but we remain apart. Hello, Neve and Max. My name is Antoinette and I'm 21 years old. I've always been big on social networks, but I've been on Instagram the longest and have built it up to about 15,000 followers. Every time I post a photo, I get tons of likes and comments, some of them negative, so most of the time I don't respond. But about two years ago, I noticed a really cute guy by the name of T-Lights following me. He is 22 years old, rapper, singer from Boca Raton, Florida. I gave him my handle and we started chatting and we clicked right away. We text, we talk on the phone, and we talk all day, like basically 24-7. T-Lights is always busy with his music. We've seen this before. Oh God, busy playing, with the music. It, it seems to be his major excuse for everything. He never has time to video chat. He always says that his Wi-Fi connection is bad or his phone battery is low. T-Lights, come on buddy, better excuses. I trust T-Lights, but I'm hoping to move to California within the next year. And I need to know if my relationship with T-Lights is worth continuing or if I should completely move on from my Instagram crush. You are my soul. What's happening? Okay, so his, he had no idea that we were here. Um, none of them did. What's the story? So I said, like, do you know why we're here? It's Albert. I said, I, well, I'm guessing it's because of Antoinette. I was like, so that's you, right? You've been like, that's the one you've been talking to her. He's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's just walk over there. Come on. This is, this is great. Time to jump. Why is it like? Jump. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, mm -hmm. I don't think I need to introduce her. Of course. This is Antoinette. What's up, Hey. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, I'm Max, by the way. Yeah. Are you good? Chilling? Y'all did so good. You saw you it? it? Yeah. What? I was in the very back. That's awesome. I wish I saw you. Do you guys know anything about this? Oh, yeah. You saw me tons about it. It's almost like just having a friendship, but they're attracted to each other, so it's all good. <laughs> so wait a second. So I want to talk to you because um, you know that like this whole time, we had this like shred of doubt or well, kind of concern that maybe she was talking to you. Maybe if she's a beautiful girl. No, no, but we're always trying to consider every option. So when you saw us on stage, were you like, that's legit? Yeah, it's so legit. I was like, he looks, <laughs> I was like, he looks the same. Like he sounds the same, like yeah. it's everything. You look the exact same. Really? Yeah. I look the exact same? Yeah. I still can't get over like turning my right and being like, damn. You should have been like, T. I would have been like, oh. I would have probably no, stopped her. I didn't want to like distract. I would have probably stopped the performance and been like, "Okay, so she's real, by the way." Because I used to ask him too. I was like, "Are you sure she's real? Have you video chatted <laughs> her?" No, right? He's like, "No, but you know what? It's crazy because a lot of times I saw her let's say, like try to bit or whatever. It's in the car, no connection, or we're at the studio, can't That's answer. Crazy, yeah. So I guess they never got a chance to. But yeah, it's like it's it's been going on for what almost two years. Yeah. yeah. And you called your manager and he told him that like he gave him your number and he's like, "So is this?" His number? Your manager was like, no. I was like, what oh, yeah, the he's, f he's like, dude, I just kept telling him, like, <laughs> Okay, no. I thought I, that. Because I was like, dude, like, I don't want my number to anyone. Like, yeah. Here. Like, I'm private about it, you know? I had to have that as, like, a small, tiny doubt. But, like, I just knew. We talk a certain way. And, like, no one, I mean, the emojis, like, we use. Like, I feel I, like I, I don't know, I feel like I type the same. Like, I, I drag do. out my words for so, no reason. So, like, 30 letters. <laughs> you made me do it. You know, it wasn't easy to get her to come here. Showing up at your show was a big deal for her. Yeah, that's a huge first move. That's true. Right. So look, we've got some time. You guys are gonna be recording tomorrow. Yeah, we have a studio session. Yeah, we can hang out. You guys can talk. That would be fun. Yeah. All right. Nice meeting y'all. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Okay. So, dear Neve and Charlemagne. Okay. Hey guys, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, good. <laughs> My name is Miracle, and I'm 26 years old and live in Milwaukee. I love Wisconsin. Milwaukee. Have you been to Milwaukee? Yeah, I've been there a couple weeks ago, actually. I'm emailing you because I have met the man of my dreams, and his name is Giovanni. He randomly sent me a friend request on Instagram back in January and told me that I should text him sometime. 
That means he likes what he saw on her Instagram. Okay. Giovanni seemed to be a super cool go-getter. Not to mention that he was the most amazingly handsome man that I had met in years. He started telling me about how he was an up and coming music producer, always a red flag, <sighs> who had recently moved from Milwaukee to Atlanta. People always think, well, if I'm a music producer, I can always use the excuse like, oh, I'm in the studio. Like we see that all the time. True. Right now, my feelings for Giovanni are through the roof. He restored my heart and soul at the same time mm. and just took away all the pain, hurt, and sorrow that I had once felt towards all men. However, I feel like we're drifting apart. I would ask him to video chat with me and he would always say that he couldn't because he didn't remember any of his logins for the website. That's, that's, some BS. this is some BS. Yes. When he still lived in Milwaukee, I would often ask him when we would be able to meet and he would always tell me very soon, but it has never happened. If he is who he says he is, then he is without a doubt my ideal man husband, life partner, and I would like to see where this could potentially go. I mean, that's right. deep for, for an online relationship. I agree. That's a Drake single waiting yeah. to happen right there. <laughs> I am begging for you guys to help to uncover a long overdue love that needs to be brought together. Hi. Hello, Hi. how are you? I'm Neve. I'm Kara. Kara. Yes. Hi. Well, I'm Giovanni. Meaning you are the person with whom Miracle has been texting. Yes. Which would mean that you're the guy on the phone <laughs> that she spoke to. Yes. So together you guys created this. Not together. No. I did it on my own. When Miracle wanted to speak with a guy, I didn't know who else to turn to but my husband. I made a page because a friend of mine, her boyfriend was cheating on her. And the girl that he was cheating with, I was trying to get her to give me all of her information. So of course, when I made the page, I'm just sending out friend requests to everyone. So you made the Giovanni Santos page to reach out to a girl that your friend's boyfriend was messing around with. Yes. Explain how we ended up here right now. <laughs> So there's a big, there's a big, there is a big gap. Gap well, to fill. I don't work because I have lupus. Most of the time I'm just kind of laying around, kind of in bed, not feeling good. So when she started texting, it was like, oh, I was not just thinking to be... that it would have went this far, not even thinking that it would have lasted more than a week or two. Just some real cafe. How you let your wife do this, though? Why you didn't check your wife, bro? Like, why didn't you take the phone and say, Miracle, this is my wife, she playing? She's here majority of the time. I'm usually not here, I'm working. That's what I do, you know? So I'm normally gone. So I didn't realize how deep it had gotten. Like, girl, you need to stop with that. I didn't realize that it went over what she originally planned for it to be. Once I got to know Miracle, like, I thought she was a really sweet girl. Are your feelings the genuine. Feelings that... They're genuine. Yes, everything through our text messages, that was all me. But to be clear, you expressed, at least from the little bit that was made apparent to us, like romantic feelings. Um, some of it was pretend and some of it was real. This is some BS right now. You did make me feel like that person was a real person. Now we on national television looking crazy as hell. I got friends, I got family, I have a daughter. I have a job, I have a career. I work for the damn state. I'm sitting on here looking dumb as hell because of you. Do because I apologize of you. that you got wrapped up, but at the same time, it's not like you, 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 you. It's not that, right. it's us. And we did it together. We was in this together. We was. I wasn't texting myself. You're trying to you victim blame right now. You're trying to blame the victim. Is it, is it lupus right. or she psycho? Which one? You're, exactly. you're a sick individual. Every, I am a, I am a sick individual. I am I, a sick individual. I know individual. you are. I have lupus and I live with it every day. Your you mind, talking about sick? Your my mind, mind is good. My mind, mind is good. What's wrong with you? There is nothing so you, wrong so with you. You just didn't do something like this. I apologize. I said I'm sorry. And I, what the f do you want me to do? Like, get up, I'm not going to do that. Ladies, ladies, ladies. I'm down. I'm pissed. 
We ain't talking. Right I ain't now, talking no more. We, we ain't talking. Right. Maybe now is the appropriate time to. Absolutely. To. You see me? Don't speak to me. Trust me, it ain't no reason to. Sweetie, you basic. <laughs> Do you see your outfit though? There's but the door. Basic. Is that a fishnet? There's the door. We can leave. Cause this right. is done. Okay. All right, bro. All right, All right man. Take it easy. Have a good day. You too. All right. They some sick ass individuals. They both some bums if you ask me. My name is Shakina. I'm 31 years old, and I live in Moreno Valley, California. I've been talking to this guy, Chris, for three years. He's 29, and he lives in Tarzana, California. That's not that far. They haven't met in three years. He's a musician, and I've been following his music for quite some time. Uh-oh, is he like a famous musician? I'm too mixed up. Around three years ago, I decided to send him a message, and he responded. So she reached out to him. Yeah. I'm too mixed up. I sent him my number, and he actually called me. It was on after that. I don't know what that means. Since then, we've been talking pretty much every damn day. We got close super fast. I've never been with someone so loving before, but I am embarrassed to tell you that there's always been another woman in the picture. What? I know this guy gets attention from a lot of girls, but I can't help but feel like he's hiding a lot of stuff from me. I need your help to figure out if he's serious about me and finally get him to meet in person. Please call me. Shakina. Wait a second. He has another girlfriend? Girlfriend, wife, who knows what. There's gotta be something about this. There's more. Let's give her a call and see what she has to say. Hey! Oh, hey. What's up, Shakina? My curly-haired sister. Tell us a little bit about this guy, Chris. Was it Chris? Mm -hmm. Well, that's actually Chris Brown. I'm talking to him. What? Talking As in to. Chris Breezy? Yes. As in, your man ain't me? As yes. in, run it, Chris Brown? Chris yes, Brown? yes, that's him. How are you so convinced? I had to check his voice, and when I did, I checked when he was speaking in interviews and checked his voice on my phone to sound the same. Does he ever video chat? Video chat, he keeps it dark. I don't know what to say. I, I, I mean, I... This is a lot, Shakina. I'm sorry. Forgive me if I'm trying to process. It's a lot. I'm sorry. Have you considered the possibility that you're not talking to Chris Brown? No, no. He's making you feel like you're the only person for him. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yet I know that Chris Brown publicly has a girlfriend. Does he ever talk about that? I never asked about it because we have a good connection. I don't want to ruin it. But you know that he's got a girlfriend. Yes. Yeah. You said it in your email. Does that bother you? The girl that bothers me is Takoya, because she's not on TV. She's an actual person. So in addition to the girlfriend that he takes pictures with and goes to events with, Chris tells you that he's dating someone else yeah. named Takoya. Yeah. He asks, can I have two girlfriends? What? I said, fine, OK. He said, won't y'all two talk? And then he put me on a three-way with her. Whoa. Chris put you on the phone. Yeah, he did. With three his ways. other girlfriend. Takoya. Yes. He like merged the call. Yes, he did. It's a virtual three way. Both of them were talking at the same time? No. She'll talk to me, and then he'll come in and start talking. Okay. He and was. how did that go? It went okay. She was pretty nice. We became friends. You guys talk and text without Chris? Yeah. Y'all are sister wives. You're fine with it? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with it. And has she met him in person? No, she haven't met him either. OK. How often do you and Chris talk? Like, all day. Like, we'd be on the phone. Does he tell you about, like, everything that's going on in his life, where he's at, what he's doing? He don't tell me what he does at work or anything. He just tell me he's stressed out or he's tired. Has he ever shown you his house? No. Cars? No. Chains? No. Has he sent you any pictures of anything? No. Never sent you any picture? No. Someone else. Hi. This is Chris. Wow. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good. Is that your name or is no. that? No, okay. What so is your name? John Isha. John, John Isha. But you've been Chris 
this whole time. Yeah. And maybe you a little bit. No. No. I have been involved. Um, Shakina, you know me as Betty. Who's that? Chris's friend. Okay. Why would you lie? Why would you do that? Why would you put somebody else's face on Facebook? I mean, when you first inboxed me, when we first started talking, it was just a joke. Like, I wasn't, like, really trying to mm -hmm. do all that. I was in a relationship with you, talking to you. That's different. Yeah. Hold on a second. How long have you had the profile? A lot of years. I started when I was, like, probably in 10th grade. And how old are you now? I'm 22. Mm -hmm. OK, so it's been a while. How many people are you talking to the same yeah. way that you were talking to Shakina? Not that many. For as long as her? Probably longer. Longer? Yeah. Wow. And in a romantic way? I mean, sometimes, yeah. And do they think you're Chris Brown? Yeah, some, some of them do. So the entire time you've been talking to Shakina, You've also been talking to other people, Takoya and a few others yeah. at least. Mm -hmm. You were collecting photos from her, explicit photos. Were you collecting photos from other people? No. <sighs> but you realize that that's not OK. Um, I can't, it's just, can't explain. I'm sorry. I just have a hard time believing you when you stand there and not show any kind of emotion. And you've known about this. You've even participated. At some point, did you ever tell her, like, you got to stop? This um, isn't cool. When I found out she was doing it, I was, you know, telling her it's wrong. You shouldn't do this stuff like that. But, you know, I didn't want to end our friendship because of it. Right. I've been through a lot, and you know that. You should have told the truth. I would have felt better, you know, instead of being lied to. Dear Neve and Max, my name is Kiana. I'm 19 years old, and I live in a small town called Cameron, North Carolina. I'm currently in an online turned very passionate relationship with someone who appears to be the rapper Bow Wow. You gotta be kidding me. Bow Wow is 26 years old and lives in New York City, where he is the host of the show 106 in Park. I have loved him since I was a kid. I went to several of his concerts, bought all of his CDs, and even hung up posters of him in my room. I met him on Facebook four months ago. All right. I liked his fan page and sent him a message explaining how much I like his music. However, I never expected him to respond. So when he did, I was shocked. He called me the same day and we began texting daily. It has since become more serious. I'm doing everything I can to keep my feelings under control, but I can't help but smile thinking about Bow Wow actually liking me. Oh my God, is this actually happening to me? One of the things that has connected us the most is our daughters. We talk about how we would all be a happy family together. Why don't we leave this town together wherever the Unfortunately, we haven't been able to meet due to his high volume of filming and his intense schedule in New York with the show. We have even tried to video chat a few times, but it's always a bad connection on his end. The things he does keep me believing that this might actually be real. He sent over $10,000. Let's just keep on reading. I'm falling in love with this person and I don't want to be heartbroken. I'm ready to know the truth and I hope you guys can help me. Kiana. I mean, some very wealthy man is either impersonating Bow Wow or it is Bow Wow, which is even crazier. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, bro? Uh, <laughs> um, well, oh. I came here obviously to introduce you to Kiana. Oh my God. God. Well, how you doing, Kiana? Oh, my. 
Monica. <laughs> My name D. Um, <laughs> like Ari. Uh. You go by D. Yeah. My stage name is D Pimpin. Okay. How old are you? 23. I never lied about my true feelings for you. I just lied about the person and uh, for that attention. That was it. Like the music, I'm me, I'm real, I'm this person. Like I care about you. I'm not. Oh. I just wish we could move forward from the situation. I'm not gay, so like this couldn't move forward. I'm kind of embarrassed at the same time because now, like, you're embarrassed, I'm embarrassed, you're. <laughs> I knew you wasn't gonna accept the fact that I was a female. I knew you wasn't gonna accept that. Even if we can't share like a, you know, that type of relationship, I still wanna be that friend to help you. I still wanna be that person to be there for you like I've been doing, sending you everything, taking care of you and your daughter, supporting your career and all. Like, I wanna be that person to help you with everything. Were you expecting this to go any better? Yeah, I was hoping like that we could have moved forward from it. Like, I don't even understand, like, we didn't even have to go through all this. Like, we wouldn't have been dating, but you could have been told me. Like, I think that's the most upset. Like, you got me looking stupid. So did you start the fan page? Mm-hmm. And then yeah. that got closed, or you closed it? Yeah, or? I closed it. Once I got close to Kiana, I just closed it. So you kind of created the profile as a trap, in a way, to meet Girls? Yeah, to meet girls, to meet a lot of girls. Because I know Bow Wow, he gets that attention. Like, all the girls love him. But those are straight girls that yeah. like Bow Wow. Yeah, I mean, for me, I like a challenge. I'm the type, I like a challenge. I like straight girls to see what I can do. And, and the money. Yeah, the I money. I mean, like, it's a lot of money. Yeah, I wouldn't just send random chicks that amount of money. Obviously, I had some type of connection, some type of feelings for her to send her money like that. And you are a musician. Mm -hmm. That's your full-time job? Mm -hmm. I do shows and everything in here. Here in Atlanta, like they have open mics, so I do shows here for like $1,000, $300, $500, and 